Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Neon Genesis Evangelion episode number 17 and 18. Alright, the previous two episodes we saw um, Shinji uh, like he interacting with his dad uh, in one of the uh, in the previous episode where like they talked in front of their mom's grave like and uh, we kind of saw like uh, Shinji's dad talking with Shinji for the first time like you know without any interference of like uh you know evangelion and all of those topics they just had a talk and uh like it kind of boosted shinji's morale and like he did good in his test and everything and uh like that kind of later spiraled into a mess because like shinji was kind of captured by an angel and like they were unable to do anything and um like uh they were almost uh, like going to sacrifice shinji for like the safety of the evangelion but thankfully the evangelion uh kind of broke shinji out of that place and like it seemed as if uh i don't know his mom was like is somehow connected to the evangelion or something i'm not sure because you know we kind of saw like a, a female kind of you know hugging shinji and uh like shinji kind of like commented i think like uh, it feels like mom or something something like that and yeah like i'm not sure and uh for that like from that i kind of came into a conclusion you know from the previous two episodes that like he also commented on how um uh, ray was like a mom or something like uh, i don't know where it came from but like he suddenly commented that so then i thought like you know maybe like uh, like ray is somehow related to shinji uh, maybe ray is you know his sister or something like like you know those step sisters or something like adopted sisters uh, no not adopted like i kind of also mentioned this like they cannot be adopted because if they're if she's ab adopted how can looking at her remind him of his mom so this it must be like she is the biological daughter of his mom that means his real sister um and also that also answers another question why is like like you know uh, shinji's dad so affectionate towards her if she is their child like this is like a theory that i came up with i'm not sure i might be wrong but like shinji's that statement kind of you know made me think about it so anyways i'm sure we'll get all the answers uh, and so yeah without further ado let's get started with neon genesis evangelion Episode number 17. So yeah, I'll be putting the subtitles and the time of year, sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. All right, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Oh, also another thing I forgot uh, that happened. Uh, we, we saw the Adam, uh, you know, that thing. And also another thing came into light. Kaji is, I think, kind of a spy uh, for the main people. And uh, like, he is like investigating what actually Shinji's dad is doing. And a lot of those stuff. So, yeah, like it's kind of confusing a bit uh, a few parts but i'm sure after like like seeing this episode watching these episodes will clear it all up eventually because like, they are like you know uh, imparting knowledge bit bits and pieces like in each and every episode so i'm sure they will like clear it all out in the end by the end of it so yeah Okay, let's see. You've received, uh, okay, uh, refused. Thank you, yeah. Time to come in. What? Oh, okay. 
Oh, great. So what do you want? Hmm. Angel tried to take an Eva into himself. Predicted 13th Angel. Oh. So far. <laughs> Great. Running short. The fourth qualified individual. Oh. He's been husband. Oh, uh, his sister. Uh, sister, yeah. Yeah, it's her sister. Susuhara, empty, empty. Damn. Hmm. I know. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Wait, I am is absent. Oh, it's that day. Okay, okay. She'll go in the next day. I was thinking like what happened. Second branch just vanished. What? Wait, something vanished just like that? Oh. Oh boy, what the hell? Oh, the unit, there was a unit 4, so it vanished completely. Damn. Oh. Structure integrity and... Oh, so they're saying that it's their fault. Sabotage. Vanish, yeah. Like, how does that happen? Oh, damn. Hmm. <sighs> oh, this unit three as well. There was. A... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm understanding it now. Wasting us to how? Dummy plug. Dummy plug Evangelion. Oh. That's human and burn. Fake human. So they're going to use this as a like proxy. This machine, uh, yeah. Signal pattern to thing. Oh, so they, would, they don't have a pilot. They're going to use this as a. Okay. Okay, the third unit is coming, that means. 
isn't it? Different modification and then just master hero. Okay. Yeah. We we'll select a fourth. Oh. Okay, new pilot. So another child, as they say, call them. Okay. <laughs> what? What's the matter with him? Her? Oh, great. Oh boy. You need to enter her. The fourth. Yeah, like so a new Okay. <laughs> like she she's dad must be pulling some strings or something. Or not, I don't know. Yeah, who is that? They know him or her. What? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Okay, something. All right. Oh, is it like one of them or something? Wow. Ah, uh, damn. Well. Hmm. Oh, there he, he's here again. He <laughs> the previous meeting was not so, you know, good. <laughs> Wait, the name of the Bell is ping pong. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens this time. Damn, the house is like the room is so. Oh, damn, medications. Okay, so she really is not here. All right. And there's the glasses. Nice. Yeah, she'll be fine. What? <laughs> Good job, Shinji. Good job. Oh, he is standing strong. Okay. Oh boy. Mm. What you've got to give? Oh, is she back? Yeah, she's back. Uh, uh. 
<laughs> okay. Wow, that was rare. <laughs> yeah, because they're weird, like they can become, you know, be like piloting those things. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Four children. Okay, let's see. That is made by mankind. <laughs> wow. Our own paradise. Hmm. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Oh, so they know something about it. Oh, this installation even from yeah, he doesn't care about the community. Okay. Damn. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. Damn. Oh. Yeah, that comes, that question. <laughs> also convenient discovery, wow. Oh! Oh, damn! Oh, that means okay, so... Code 707. <laughs> the business trip. Oh, so Marduk doesn't even exist. So that means Shinji's dad is doing... Wow, what a way to start a conversation. Hmm. Oh, what? What, watermelons? <laughs> wow. Yeah, who doesn't? I'm just suffering. Hmm. Okay, that's a good you know, lesson. 
Oh boy. Oh, it's dropping. His like mental. Yeah. Wait, so does Shinji know him or her? Like, it seems as if, like, like, Misato knows that person. I'm guessing, is it one of them? Like, you know, his friends? That's why they are unable to, like, talk. Okay, let's see. Oh boy, he knows. <laughs> it's not like that, you know. Yeah, he, Shinji doesn't know anything. I I think so. Yeah, I don't know if Asuka or Rei also knows about this. Not sure. I don't think they also know. I'm thinking like maybe Toji is the fourth child, you know? Like, you know, Ritsuko called him. Okay. Oh boy. Kodama no son. Um, you know, come on, get to the point. Okay, there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Her face, like what the hell? <laughs> Oh boy. Oh my god, is he like doing some secret research or something? Oh no, the synchro. Oh my god! She got, she saw it. Asuka also knows, he. Okay, it must be him, isn't it? Like, Ritsuko also called him. And... Like, they're showing him for so long, so I think it's him. I forgot his name. Uh, I need to start remembering it if he's the fourth child. <laughs> um. Damn. Whoa. That was abrupt. Another new like <laughs> way of the ending. 
Painting is another, you know, another tune. Anyway, so this episode, um, weird, weird episode because like it's like they are trying to keep something within wraps and not letting us know. Like they're ex like always saying that he he like the fourth child, the fourth child, they found it, and it seems as if everyone knows who the fourth child is, and it even seems that Shinji also knows him. So that's why I'm saying like you know like they are also showing his like Shinji's friend in this episode for so long. So like. And then Ritsuko called him, so maybe like you know Ritsuko said to him that like you have been selected or something and like we'll do this activation test or whatever and like that's why like you know he is kind of stressed about that or something. Okay, uh, so yeah, uh, alright, so as I was saying, so that's just a guess you know like because uh, all of the you know the hints that they provided in this episode kind of um is like pointing towards shinji's friend uh, and like he is the fourth child but i'm really not sure like if he is the fourth child you know so like how was he not selected before shinji like shinji you know shinji had to come from somewhere else whereas he was already in this place from the beginning like he's like reading like studying in this school his uh like he has his family here so like shinji is the third child so like before shinji how did he not get you know recruited or something uh i don't know maybe because like shinji is special somehow like uh like only shinji can is compatible to evangelion unit uh one i'm not sure but there must be some kind of reason i'm not completely sure but yeah so it turns out that there were two more evangelion units uh, unit three and unit four so isn't it yeah like unit zero one uh, no, zero one two yeah three and four so um, so the uh, fourth unit and the second division that they're calling which like looked after the, the evangelion or something disappeared completely so that means uh, only unit three is left and which is being brought here and uh, like the, the like test uh, like you know the test thing will be done in Matsushiro they said and the third uh, the fourth children has also been found uh, also been find, found and which they're kind of like building up the suspense and mystery like who is it and <clears throat> and another the, like many like, big information we got to know here is uh, there's no Marduk Institute that means uh, like in the previous episode they like explained what Marduk Institute is it was like uh, the place which like selected these pilots so that means and also like Marduk Institute's uh, like roster had Shinji's dad's name so that means that uh, like you know when they were talking in this episode with Risko uh, Shinji's dad uh, yeah, like he said we'll have to like you know uh, select a fourth child and then in the next scene we see that the fourth child has been found so that means like like Shinji's dad is pulling the strings like there's no Marduk Institute that's just a fake thing and Shinji's dad is like making the decision on behalf of the imaginary Marduk Institute and that's how he is like controlling the whole thing and yeah and that's how like so quickly the fourth child, fourth child was found and so yeah and uh, Misato got to know this today from uh, Kaji's mouth and okay so what else was in this episode mm, oh uh, we got uh, a little bit of Ray like him uh, like her like uh, Shinji visiting her and uh, then what else yeah that was it like that was the main thing in this episode like uh, the whole suspense of who the fourth child is and uh, like as it turns out that everyone knows the fourth child uh, like all of them and uh, like even Asuka knows so it kind of points uh, like you know points uh, towards that kid's direction Shinji's friend's direction and I'm sure that it is him I think so so yeah I'm sure we'll get the answer soon because uh, yeah, like they need to bring the you know Evangelion in quickly here, like unit three. 
So and the test is also soon, so I'm sure we'll get to see him uh, in in that episode. <coughs> and yeah, that was it, and nothing else. Like uh, it seems like that uh, the uh, class representative has some feelings for him, and the way she was interacting with him, and. Uh, yeah so yeah nothing else like i'm like, i'm really surprised that there was nothing much like said in this episode like yeah like these were like all of the things that were the, that the episode comprised of like the whole thing with <clears throat> the unit four the uh, like thing that the place uh, disappeared uh unit three is coming here a fourth child has been found um, uh, Marduk Institute doesn't exist. Uh, Shinji's dad must be pulling the strings. Somehow, Ritsuko is on, like you know, kind kind of connected to it. And um, uh, what else? Um, like the fourth child, everyone knows about him. I think it's a him. And uh, what else? Asuka also got to know. So yeah, that's it. That was this episode. So without wasting much time. Uh, let's uh, let's get started with the 18th episode. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. I'll put in some titles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference, and let's get started. Right. So here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. I'm really like you know uh, like they're uh, giving us a lot of information in the uh, like you know past couple of episodes throughout the past couple of episodes so I'm trying my best to you know like kind of gather them and understand but I might miss something like like I'm trying my best not to miss stuff but you know it's really it's kind of you know difficult to react to something and understand it at the same time like I have to keep, you know, like my eyes on the subtitles, understand it, and give my input at the same time. <laughs> oh boy! And I also cannot pause. Like this is a timer reaction. So like if I suddenly miss something, I cannot pause. Like I'll have to wait for the end of this, uh, like you know, episode, then go back. Okay. Oh, is this the third? Okay. Oh, damn, what's happening? Oh. <laughs> what? Ah, here we go. Oh, they know they think that it's it has exploded. Let's do it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, who is it? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh, he's going to say that I want to be the pilot. 
And that's not how it works. Like, selection of life. Whoa. Tomorrow, but yeah, so Shinji, like, he like is acquainted with Shinji. It's him. Yep, there you go. Sister transferred to our hospital. It was a condition. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, his name is Toji. And she's pissed. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, she is pissed. Okay, one thing I'm really confused, like why is he acting odd? Like I, I get it that he is selected, but something the matter with him? Yeah, she knows, like. Yeah. Hmm. Damn. <laughs> Melting. Oh. Wow. Oh, is that the reason why he is so like concerned about this or something? Like he's thinking that the person he beat up before he's going to become the same person. Or something like Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't think that is. Million times. Wow. <laughs> oh, great. What the hell is are they? <laughs> um there you go. Yeah, obviously. Okay, so Asuka did not know that.
Hmm. Is he going to ask? I think so. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, like. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they've been talking, you know. Like it's good. What? Okay, we're going into philo philosophical territory now. Isato. <laughs> We're dividing. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, they're testing now. Temperature. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there he is. Like, how do they even select the children, you know? Uh, I'm having a bad feeling about this. Like, Toji is being brought up too many times. Like, is he somehow going to die or something? Like, you know, they, they're continuously, like, bringing him up for, like, the two episodes, continually. Like, like she cannot eat food with him. Like, she missed him. Like, he's getting too much screen time. I, I don't know. Oh, it failed? Oh my god. What? Wait, what? Wait, it blew up? What the hell? Wait, what? Ambivalent. Oh no! Wait, so was he not compatible or something? The unidentified object returned. Yeah, they'll have to move now. <clears throat> like Shinji and Oh, wow. Ha! Great. Order's died from your dad. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. It went... Oh, no, it went berserk. And they're not showing... Yeah, the pilot. 
so he's unconscious or something what oh my god and Shinji doesn't know this like he'll have to fight Wait, so... Oh my god. Oh, great. His dad did not... Oh! Wait, what? What happened? Oh no! I thought maybe the communication was... Wait, what? Oh boy. She knows. Yeah. What? Oh. Oh damn. What the hell? Angels in fact. Oh, so it can be. Oh, yeah, it will hurt. Oh, but uh, there's no time. Oh, God. Like, yeah, the mental pain. Thankfully, his, her real arm is okay, you know. But uh, still, the mental pain. Oh, great. Great, and he doesn't even know that his friend is in there. Oh, boy. Oh no, okay, well. The way this thing moves, it's like. Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh no, it's his throat. Yeah. Yeah, but Oh no Oh, so it's like... Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Dummy system ray. It's rays the thing. Emotional elements are clear, they can be monitored. So it's in autopilot now. Like, the program that's running it is Ray's. Ray's program. Whoa! So, like, Shinji is like just there, like. It's working. 
Yeah. Damn. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the smirk. Oh. Oh no, he'll see him. Oh boy. <laughs> That's why you do not give, you know, AI complete control. Oh boy. Oh no, he'll go he's going to see. Or not. Wow. Oh no, this is... Ugh. Oh, it's Misato. Okay. Yeah. I think it was a good decision, but it is going to hurt more later on. Does he know? Oh no, not now, but... Wait. He's alive? Um... Oh! Okay, but he's alive. But they said that he's alive, so... Like I, like I thought maybe he, like he's going to die or something. So he's alive, isn't he? Maybe he, like he's injured or like you know, like badly hurt. He might get some fractures, like his hand on that, like may, might be broken or something. He might like get some kind of like you know psychological trauma or something. Like these things might happen, but he's still alive, isn't he? So he can be cured. It'll take time, like. I hope that's the case. Like, you know, not like obviously, I don't want him to die, but also, like, this will be a lot easier on Shinji because, like, if he was dead, I don't know what would have happened. Like, like, how Shinji would have reacted to it. Like, seeing his reaction, <clears throat> uh, yeah, like, I don't know. What would have, yeah, yeah, as I was saying, I don't know what would have happened if she died or something. 
but because i had like you know i had thought that yeah he's going to die like he is going to die like that was the thing that i thought but thankfully he's alive and yeah like you know the way the <coughs> whole episode was going <clears throat> it seemed as if he's going to like die like the way like they're always like like i was thinking like uh like first they like uh kind of said that yeah he's going to be the fourth child and there's going to this is going to there's going to be this test there and <clears throat> i thought oh maybe they like he is so concerned about it because like you know like uh like all his like interaction with shinji before like he punched shinji and uh like said that uh, yeah like uh stuff like i i like don't like that you like guys like you stuff like that and he, he kind of made a commotion there <clears throat> and now he's thinking that oh boy like i'm at the same place now so uh, i think that was uh maybe that was making him act weird and also like his friend was like wanted to become a pilot and uh like all of these like type of things uh, i thought maybe those were the things that was making him like, kind of concerned about everything <clears throat> and the way they were like bringing everything uh like bringing the whole <clears throat> focus on him uh like for example uh the class representative uh, class rep she was like saying that oh like he's not here today uh like today i also didn't get to eat with him maybe the next day like how they were like like giving him so much screen time like by like when they like went there and like they were were not even showing us you know like when he entered into the evangelion how he is has pilot status how is how is it they're not they were not even showing that like i was thinking like are they trying to kill him off or something like these like things kind of point towards that direction like he is getting screen time so much like he's like a sky side character so like by these two you know like two episodes he's getting so much screen time and like it's is seeming as if like uh, he is probably not going to come back or something because like his the attention is so much focused on him so like i was thinking like maybe they're going to kill him off and by the end of it i had this thing like i'm sure like everyone when like watching this for the first time thought that oh boy he's dead like there's no way he's going to survive this but kind of said didn't they they, they said didn't they that he's alive wait a second um let me just check again or what's that okay the pilots here, here it is the pilots uh, life signs are where is it report from the entry uh, yeah plug team uh, the pilots life signs are confirmed yeah so he is alive okay and we we also saw him in the end like it seemed as if let's see um yeah he's wounded like his uh yeah it's pretty bad like his head is intact his chest and his hands are also intact and but okay so like his body is and we're not able to see what happened so yeah it's pretty serious and i'm not sure if he will you know be completely fine like he might sustain some bad injuries uh like some physical injuries some mental injuries as well maybe but he's alive okay and <clears throat> one thing happened this episode which we all saw was how the evangelion kind of got you know like changed into an angel now like so the angel affected it like took over it and like uh uh, like unit uh, three was trying to invade um uh, race evangelion so so this angel was like which uh, something that you know takes control of other evangelions i think it was that type of an angel and <clears throat> another thing is that we like another new thing that we saw in this episode was that dummy program so well, the like the framework of the dummy program is uh, like may, like is based on ray but like when like it was injected not injected but when it's inserted into the you know evangelion it started to act 
I don't know, extremely rashly and like started beating the whole thing up. I'm not sure what that was. Uh, like maybe, you know, like the Evangelion and Ray's program did not, was not compatible enough that it started doing stuff like that. Or maybe that's how it was designed. I'm not sure, but something must be the matter. Like everyone was extremely surprised at that. Like no one was expecting like, like the, it be, becoming so brutal. And um, like, another thing uh like i think like you know like when uh like shinji was given a choice here like his dad said that shinji like uh like you go kill it or something and shinji said that no i cannot kill someone and like uh he said one thing that if it's like if it's like killing someone or dying myself uh i'd prefer to die uh, that line is extremely familiar to me, you know, you know from where I've like heard that line before, Tokyo Ghoul, season one. <laughs> oh boy, like, you know, Kaneki saying the same thing, how his mom was such a great person who sacrificed his, her whole life for others and at the same time did not take care of him and he was also under that impression that if it's like hurting others or getting hurt yourself getting hurt yourself is better than hurting others and like later on they said that no that's not kindness that's cowardice that's like uh, your inability to get your own hands dirty like he also suffers from that now like here's what like here's the thing like I've seen like this pattern a lot in a lot of like you know animes and visual no like things that are like visual novels and all is that people being unable to dirty their own hands that's pretty difficult like you know when like you know like when problem arises like he has to become the one who has to dirty their own hands for the survival of all but he cannot do it that's the type of person person Shinji is like so like the choice was given to him but him obviously because he's a child and he has not faced these kind of situations like obviously like how do you even expect someone who is uh, who was a civilian and who is completely new to this to suddenly say that oh well okay like uh, yeah i'll have to kill him i'll kill him like it's no matter like no you you, you cannot expect something like that uh, for a child to do so when given like these things like soldiers and the people who are like trained for this they are able to do it but not like a like a, a, what's his age i don't even know his age like 15 or 16 something like that like how do you expect for him to do that like suddenly like that like uh, giving him the you know complete responsibility of killing someone and <clears throat> like but in a way you know, if Shinji took that, you know, chance and said that, okay, I'll deal with it, you know, and he himself tried to defeat it and uh, like, in, like, you know, like uh, immobilize it somehow, maybe, just maybe like, you know, the person inside that is Shinji's friend, obviously whom he did not know that he was in there, but still like he was uh, like, you know, conflicted about taking a human life. If he like took the responsibility and decided to, yeah, like, let me just, you know, like, I'll try not to kill it. I'll just beat it up. I'll, you know, like immobilize it somehow and like, like forcefully take the plug out and try to like, keep the person inside safe. He'll, you know, he'll get mentally damaged, but still his body will be okay, you know? So like if he take this chance, took this chance and did something like this, maybe like the amount of uh, injuries that his friend Toji had wouldn't have happened. So in a way, him not dirtying his own hands brought forth a future which is even more worse than he, what he could have done, what he could have prevented. Like, this future he could have prevented. But because obviously he is not accustomed to all of this, he got scared. And he said that no i don't want to do this so his dad said oh well like you won't do it so there you go like i'm in inserting a dummy thing in a, like a dummy ai in inside it and it'll do your job and even like more brutally and like she, like he was smirking at that and he was like ah shinji like you, you see like this is what happens when you don't listen to daddy <laughs> wow <laughs> i don't know if he really thought that i just said you know it's a joke 
<laughs> but still like he was smirking at that moment when like it was beating <laughs> the angel up so yeah but um, yeah this is like what i was trying to say like him unable to make that decision kind of brought forth a future which was even worse than he expected so i really do not think like shinji you know it will take a lot of time for shinji to become like the thing like the person that i described him being able to take responsibilities of his own actions dirtying his own hands i don't know if he'll ever be able to reach that position i doubt it because shinji's personality is really not like that um i don't think he will be able to do it let's just wait you know like uh like it takes time for these things like you cannot expect a like a, a teenager to suddenly like you know change like this and say that yeah like i'll have to take responsibilities for my own action and i'll bear the burden of the sins <laughs> like you know like you, you cannot expect that to happen like even adults are unable to do it a lot of adults uh not not only adults like most of the people are unable to do it so no like uh i don't think shinji at least in this situation like in this like today's episode was capable of doing it but it kind of made the situation worse in a way <clears throat> so yeah i don't know what would have happened if like his dad said something like okay like you're not doing it so i'm going to inject a uh, you know a dummy ai program inside it which might make matters worse it might like probably kill the whole uh, like uh, like evangelion with the person inside it as well so make your choice either you do it or i'll be uh, like uh, you know inserting this ai into the into your evangelion if he like explained something like this and said something like this to shinji i don't know how would he uh, how he would have acted like if given a choice i'm not sure but like obviously like there was no time to explain like shinji's dad just like you know shinji would have died if they wasted any much much more time so like his dad was like just did it so yeah like it's a weird thing you know like uh in a way like if his dad did not do this shinji would have died so i cannot blame him for this but at the same time you know like um yeah it was kind of an overkill so that's why i'm saying it's a weird thing like i cannot even blame anyone and at the same time like it's not that is as if like everyone was like no one was at fault it's not that like people were at fault but at the same time like you cannot do anything about it yeah and um so another thing is that so aska like i don't know like so aska was really pissed at shinji in this episode because like he was she was under the wrong impression that shinji knew that it was his friend like i think she thought that maybe shinji knew that uh, like his friend is going to you know pilot it and like even after knowing this they were like acting all goofy and everything in class so that's why like she suddenly said that i don't want even to look to you three stooges and like 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 uh, behaved like that and then when like shinji came comes back home and uh, like talks with asuka like asuka says that so you don't know who is in it he says that no so like who is going to pilot it and asuka doesn't say anything so i think like it was kind of a misunderstanding before like and then like by the end of it like asuka tried to tell him and 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 also like misato also tried to tell him and i'm not sure how this would have gone you know if shinji somehow knew that his friend was in it like i'm thinking like what would have affected him less like you know him already knowing that yeah my friend is in there and like watching everything happen like like he would like he, at that moment he did not know that toji was in it so he was just thinking that i killed like obviously like he did not kill him and like it was that program but still like he was thinking that oh like like i'm taking a human life a human life just that and then in the end when he saw it with his own eyes like all the like realizations crashed at the, like you know at all at once and he i'm sure like he got like psychologically scarred at that moment so which is better like that 
or the other you know scenario which could have happened that maybe like misato told him or you know asuka told him and he knew that toji was inside and like him just witnessing everything happen knowing the fact that toji is in it so like you know like it's like <laughs> you like him getting all the you know shock at once at all at the same time or by gradual intervals like which would have affected him more i'm not sure you know like which scenario would have affected him more but anyhow like both of the scenario would have affected him in some way so that's one thing to think about like how would he have reacted if he already knew that toji was in it would he, uh, also maybe like he would have taken different decision you know i'm not sure maybe like if he knew that toji was inside maybe he would have like said that okay i'll try to defeat it or something which i doubt i don't think shinji would be able to do it i don't know like like as far as like you know i've like observed him he won't be able to do it um yeah so you know like shinji like um shinji is an interesting character in a way because like all like you know all of these in all of these animes we see people like shinji obviously like there are a lot of characters like shinji in different animes but there's a big difference between shinji and them what actually happens is those characters even if they start as weak and as like emotionally vulnerable as shinji they kind of change in like as the episodes go on and like you know they like when problems like this arise somehow they are able to take that decision and they not, you know their character is developed which as good as it sounds and like as good as we feel about it is not realistic at all you know all of these animals that we see but this is quite realistic like you know people cannot change like that like like after some you know uh, like little bits and pieces of uh, pep talk people are unable to change just like that so the way shinji behaved is that's why i'm saying it's like it's quite realistic like a person who is like you know who acts like shinji who is like shinji who has personality like shinji won't be able to change so easily and even if he is able to change it will take a lot of time and by a lot of time i don't mean like you know uh, like one like 24 episodes or something no it will take huge amount of time for him to change and the change will come gradually like like you cannot like you know like face a problematic situation and suddenly like gain this inner like you know enlightenment and say that okay i'm going to change and you go you suddenly change and start be start to become badass no that doesn't happen like that's not realistic <laughs> but <laughs> like I'm, I'm sure like that's the reason why I, I, like a lot of people like i've heard like you know uh, people kind of getting pissed at shinji and a lot of people does not like shinji I'm kind of neutral on him because I neither like condone the things that he's doing nor do I am, am I going to say that no like uh, he is like uh, you know like uh, like he is completely at fault I'm not going to say that like he, I'm neutral on him like some things I really kind of you know feel that uh, maybe he could have taken a better decision here and at the same time, I also think that no, like if he took a decision like that, this, uh, that wouldn't have been Shinji. Like a person cannot change like that. So like I'm kind of neutral on him. So that's why like I like I've like before like this uh, watching this anime, I've heard a lot of people badmouth Shinji, and I really did not understand why people do it. And I kind of get it now somehow a little bit. But for me, like I don't think you know like. Um, like even though he does kind of like some stuff i'm not i'm not sure like uh, how i should actually feel about him because like yeah like he's pretty neutral according to me and i don't know like uh, there are a few episodes left so maybe something else happens i just have to wait but yeah like as i was saying like realistic like shinji is quite realistic like you know if like me or you or like a person like shinji was really a real person was really facing situations like this he would have acted like shinji and that would have been the more realistic thing but yeah but you know like anime without character development is real life 
so <laughs> i don't know like why people like people like we watch anime because we you know <laughs> want to see something which is not real life so if like you know <laughs> like if the same thing happens in anime like why are we even watching anime <laughs> like yeah like <laughs> like a story without character development is really uh, reality <laughs> okay that's a pretty bit like a bit harsh i think like a lot of people change but still most majority don't change so yeah <laughs> anyways <laughs> uh boy so yeah like this was the, uh, that was this episode so thank god like he's okay but at the same time like i don't know if he will be completely fine or not he must have sustained a lot of injuries and like i'll have to wait for the next episode to see like how his condition really is like is he really so badly damaged that like you know like maybe he's is going to be paralyzed or something maybe like some like you know mental problems will he'll be facing from now on like if bad things something bad like that happens it will be a more you know burden on shinji but if he is like you know kind of injured and he'll take time but he'll be okay if it's something like that i think like shinji like it will help shinji a lot and thankfully he did not die if he died that would have been too much i think and i thought i i like i gave up hope i thought like he, yeah he's going to die like that but thankfully like uh, i think that the way like you know the vangelian crushed the life pod maybe it was like somewhere around his legs or something maybe like you know his head was all intact his like body was all intact so like it did not get damaged so much that's how he was he survived because we kind of knew you know like the life pod and the you know the suit they're kind of defensive things and they kind of protect the pilot so like the way like uh, the the time when you know the vangelian was uh, tearing off the limbs and everything that provide like the provided mental shock like just imagine ray like ayanami's uh, reaction like only one of his uh, her hands was pulled off and like she screamed and like something like that happened like you know the mental um, pain without like the the physical hand is okay but the mental pain kind of got registered so like just imagine what happened to toji like uh unit one was just completely like destroying uh like toji's evangelion like it just tore the limbs apart and started like you know gorging out the things like crushed the head oh my god yeah like i'm sure at that moment he lost consciousness and the mental pressure like was affecting him yeah like i'm quite concerned now like you know like in the next episode i'm sure like something bad is going to happen uh how will he be like that's the question like uh, anyways so yeah guys that was it that was this episode this was neon genesis evangelion episode number 18 so yeah guys thank you guys for watching so um yeah like uh next episode will be something So yeah guys uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to share I'll be sure to check them out and yeah please be sure to subscribe you know like uh like you know like the subscriptions uh like like yeah okay I'm going to say has like say something here like you know there's this whole thing with uh, YouTube's um what do you call that monetization like you have to get uh, like a certain amount of watch time and a certain amount of subscribers so the good news is like my watch time like reached that now i'll have to like you know hold on to that watch time which i'm sure like i'll be able to do like for one year uh, and but the like you know subscriber count is not there like uh, i'll have to gain like 1k subscribers so it like it will really help me if you guys subscribe so if you're not subscribed Uh, please be sure to do so and yeah so that was the thing that i wanted to say so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next week with another like two more episodes of neon genesis evangelion so until then goodbye and have a nice day